Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little um, experiment. I'm going to do an open pour using a, an old Keurig container. Let's see if I can get to do an open pour. I'm going to try creating cells using denatured alcohol. I'm not sure if it's the right percentage. There is no percentage on this, but it's highly flammable, so I'm going to say it's going to work. We'll see. And my paints, I have Payne's Gray Goldens. Um, this is the heavy bodied paint, so it's mixed with gloss pouring medium and flow trial to get to the right consistency. My um, Pouring Master's Grape Jelly in this one. My Pouring Master's Peacock Teal Metallic Pearl, which is just gorgeous. Um, and Artist Loft Acrylic Flow. All of them, again, mixed with flow trial and art supplies gloss pouring medium. And then what I'm going to do is put you know, five drops of alcohol in here and just start doing an open pour. So, let's go ahead and get going. I'm going to get my gloves on. And, um, I debated about using a torch, but since this is so flammable, I'm hoping to get cells without using a torch. So, we'll see what happens. So, I'm going to start with the Artist Loft mixture with no alcohol. I'm just going to pour a puddle in the middle here to get started. Okay. I'm going to get paint in there. There we go. Set my little guy in there. Hopefully it's thin enough. And then I'm going to add five drops. One, Three, four, five. It's kind of hard to measure. That's probably close. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, and then we're just going to stir each one of these up. Hopefully this doesn't get too thin. But we'll see. So purple. Now I'm in a large, well-ventilated room, but this alcohol is pretty strong, so you may want to consider the ventilation. Okay, and now the donkey wants to be let outside, but let me go ahead and stir these first. And then I will let the dog out and come back. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. We have a little puppy now, and so the puppy, when she's got to go, She's got to go. So let me get the white stirred up here. Okay, we're going to start with this guy. Some fun looking stuff. A lot of white. I'm getting a lot of white, but I'm going to add a little extra and maybe tilt this way. See if we can get this to go a different direction. <laughs> this looks so cool. Uh, 
Um, this is about one, two, three, four, five, six ounces of paint, plus whatever I puddled in the middle. But I am starting to see cells, so that's good. Left in here. We're getting some good cells this time. Give it a little bit of time to kind of pop up more. It tends to get a little more flowy of the alcohol thins it out. corners a little here. Okay, there we go. Pretty good amount of paint still left. Let's see if I can get some of that teal to come back. But we are getting cells. Not bad. Should I try? Is that a bad idea? Maybe if I hold it way high up. Not too much. I am getting more things showing. I said I wasn't going to do heat, but I did. I am getting some interesting things. I can't say I'm thrilled with that part of it. But maybe I can bring it. stretch some of those cells too. That looks pretty cool. So as we sit longer, I would expect some more cells to be coming up. This teal is starting to blend with the Payne's Gray. It's looking pretty cool. Play around with the cells a little more. Try to get some more out of it. So that's what it does with alcohol. 
Now I wonder what happens if I dip something in the alcohol and see if I can get some cells growing. So let's try something like that. Um, Got a little tip here. And maybe I can just pop a little alcohol in here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna dip the tip in. See if I can get And I can see the circle forming. And it spreads across the top, but it's just going to evaporate quickly. Can you see that reaction? much from it. So, was I hoping for larger cells? Yes. Here, I'm starting to get that one coming up. Mm -hmm. The spots that I dropped are maybe forming more cells. I like it, and I don't have to clean it later because it doesn't have silicone in it. How do I make the cells bigger? I'm going to guess maybe the thickness of the paint. Maybe it's just slightly too thin. But still, it looks really cool. Let me bring you guys down for a close look. But I did. So because I did that, I'm gonna wear this and see if I can touch it up a little. Okay, let me bring you down. Okay, here we are. This is how it turned out. Turned out pretty. I'm wondering how it's gonna dry. So as I was gonna pick this up to take care of it, I was pouring the alcohol back into the jar here and I dripped. And look what happened. I got these amazing cells. 
Somehow. I'm experimenting. I want you to see this if you can. I'm going to try to bring you in real close. There we go. Can you see? It's going to drop a drop. Do you see the cell that formed? So maybe I'm not using enough alcohol. Hmm. It's kind of cool. So if I try this kind of splashing technique, I wonder if I'll get more interesting cells. So if I take, say, a brush and do that, what will happen? Let's take a little bit of bit more alcohol here. Dip it in. Did I just ruin the painting? Because we're definitely getting some really interesting looking things happening. That did much. I think you need something more. Concentrated. Ooh, might have been too much. It's hard to control. Maybe a dropper would be better. Kind of blend it in a little more. Sometimes there's like these edges to it. Alright. That was different. So this was already sitting for a good 20 minutes before I did this, and I got some interesting cells after dropping the alcohol on it. Let me bring you down to show you. Okay. Here it is. Can you see those cells that formed? Interesting, right? With this, you can kind of see an outer cell and then the two inner cells. <laughs> Fun with alcohol! And here is the dried result in natural light. With a little varnish, this should brighten right back up.